Hard times. Because you know why? They're testing times. Are you still going to love me when you're broke? Are you still going to love me when the, you get to the notice they want to foreclose? Are you still going to love me when they repossess the car? Are you still going to love me when the, the devil attacks your body and you're sick and afflicted? Jeez. When you believe the opposite, are you still going to love me? Amen. <laughs> That's called a test, friends. Yeah. And I hate to say it, a lot of them fail right there. They quit right there on God. Or they go into their woe is me mode. When instead of realizing, you know what? Devil, you're just trying a new angle, that's all. <clears throat> just another test. But this too shall pass. Today, tomorrow, next week, next month, whatever. But in the meantime, I'm going to stay sweet to God. I'm not going to blame Him for you getting something out of this. I'm not going to blame God for my problems. I know where they're coming from. Right from hell. And God, I'm going to ask you to give me the strength to go through this battle. That I might come out victorious. Amen. And guess what? Amen. You're coming out more than a conqueror. Amen. You're going to come out. The devil's going to be sorry he ever messed with you. Because then God's going to give you double for your trouble. Amen. Amen. I said I wasn't going to sweat today, but I am. Because <laughs> I feel this. I feel this. This ain't just a sermon. Man, this is my life. I feel it. Amen. Ooh, better felt than tell. Mm -hmm. Yes. Glory of God. I don't know. My God, we got so much more to go on. Where am I at? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Matthew 10, 11, and 12. Now we see these shepherds here. And the wise men, they saw a star. Matthew 2, 10, 11. They saw a star. And they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. You notice how much exceedingly great joy is involved in finding the Christ? Hmm? When was the last time you had something to rejoice about? Think about that. When you get up in the morning and you open your eyes, you ought to rejoice you ain't blind. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Some people just see the glass half empty all the time. When others say, thank God it's half filled. It's all in the thinking. It's always something to thank God for. We deal with poor people and homeless on a regular basis. And I say, my God, you know, that's why we try to do is all that we can for them. Because there go I, but for the grace of God. And there's some, not just bums out there, there's some legitimate problems out there. And when you see an 80-year-old woman homeless, you know, with everything in her little buggy pushing it down the road, Breaks your heart. It should. Yes. You have a lot to be grateful yes. for. Right. Yes. I see people walking in the cold. Thank God you got a car. Might not be the best, might not be new, but you got a car. Amen. You see, the Bible says that we need to be grateful. Yes. He I don't know why it's so hard because he teaches us everything we need to know, how how to live on a regular basis. Need to be grateful. Need to be thankful. See, the world teaches us the opposite. If you don't have X, Y, and Z, man, you don't have this big old house over here and one down the shore and one up in the mountains and one a lodge over here and you don't have a new car, two guard cars in the garage, then you ain't successful or you ain't happy. Are you? That's, that's the world. That's the devil mm -hmm. yeah. trying to make you go down all these wrong avenues, chasing, chasing a rainbow with a pot of gold that's never at the end of it. The Bible says that chasing after riches is like chasing after the wind. Look, you just, you know, mm -hmm. wind's everywhere, but you can't grab it, you can't feel it, you can't see it. Nope. Because we're all doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. When we really need to be chasing after Him. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Chase after Him. Yes. Yeah. And He'll let you, guess what? He won't play hide and seek. He's going to let you find Him. And that's what I'm trying to talk about. When you once we find them and we really have them, then joy should kick in automatically. We should be able to rejoice. Peace should automatically take over. Yes. Yeah. Oh, just like that. Just like if it has it, something wrong. Right. Something wrong. Maybe you didn't give it all when you accepted Christ. Right. Holding something back. 
Because I'm telling you, man, when I got saved and I see other people get saved, when they give it all, it's like, whoo, like a snake shedding his skin, man. Everything. The Bible said, behold, all things become new. Yes. You're a new creature in Jesus Christ. But Paul said, don't go back to the old man. And that's what happens with some of us. We, we go backwards instead of forward. And that's where we make a mistake. Because we, we hit a couple rough roads, you know, a couple bumps in the road, or, you know, something, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Physical, financial, emotional, spiritual, are all together. Yeah. Yes. But my God is more than able. Yeah. You hear me? I know He's more than able to see me through no matter what the devil throws at me. And believe me, He's got some real curveballs. Yes. Oh, yeah. And He plays for keeps. Yeah. He don't fight fair. But I know one thing. When you stand true, Bible even tells us, stand. All right, Pastor, I'm standing. Now what? I'm waiting on God. I'm trusting God. I really am. Now what should I do? Nothing's happening. Because you're already thinking nothing's happening. How do you know nothing's happening? My Bible tells me He's working behind the scenes when you don't think nothing's happening. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He's already got it planned out for you if you just trust Him. Yes. And the Bible even takes you a step further. After you've stood, stand some more. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. How hard is that? Jesus. Just in other words, what He's saying is trust God. I do trust Him. Trust Him some more. Yes. How long? Forever. That's right. Keep trusting Him until the miracle happens. Keep trusting Him until the blessing comes. Keep trusting Him until the finances, whatever. That's what it comes down to. Do I look like I'm from Mars? <laughs> Some of y'all looking at me. Yeah. Really? It works like that? Just like that. Amen. So simple it became hard. <laughs> oh my God, where was I? All right, come on. <laughs> Holy Ghost has got me going everywhere today. Lord, I've got 18 pages left. Amen. All right. Whew. My Lord. And when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, listen to me, and fell down and worshipped him. He fell down and then what? What do we do after we worship him? Is that enough? We come to church, we pay our tithes, hopefully. We, 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 we worship, we praise him. Uh, is that it? Then we go home and, and, and do whatever all week long? No, what, what goes on? Listen. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented them unto him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Question. What gift did you take out of your treasure and give to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? What gift do you have to offer God Almighty? What gift? Because he's given you a treasure called life. And the gift he really wants, oh, it, it might not be gold, frankincense, even more. The gift that he wants is you. Yes. Your whole heart. He tells us how to love him. With half your heart, half your mind, half your soul, half your spirit. That's not right, is it? No. no. So with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength. That's how you love God. Anything else, you come up short. God will survive it. You won't. The world will go on after we're all gone with that kind of attitude. It'll go right on by you. Don't you want to leave something behind? Don't you want to leave a testimony behind that when you do go, People are so shook up over it. People are so disrought over it. People are so broken up over it. That you'll always be a part of their life. Always be in their memory. You'll keep their dream alive. Or will they say, Oh well. Never done nothing anyhow. You know? They didn't really participate in anything. I mean, what really? How do people look at you? Do you care? Some people, I don't care how they look at me, man. They can look at me any way they want. I don't care. 
They don't put no food on my table, man. See, that's an attitude. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's an attitude. That's right. And God hates them attitudes. Mm -hmm. When He wants us to have peace and joy, yes. He said, but there is no peace to the wicked, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. No peace to the wicked. Only to those that love God. Yeah. Yes. So take this home with you. God wants you to have peace and joy. Yes. And hope beyond hope. He wants you to have victory. He wants you to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. I want you to dig deep and make some inroads for the gospel's sake. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands in the plow. Don't look back. Start digging for Jesus. It ain't all about you, 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 or me. It's all about Him. That's right. Right. And I remember preaching that one time and a man came up to me afterwards. He said, i got to correct you, Pastor. I said, I'm all ears, man. What is it? He said, it ain't all about us. It's about me. Hmm. He ain't here no more. <laughs> <laughs> ain't even serving God no more because it wasn't about him stand with me as we begin to close it ain't all about us it is all about us as far as a body of Christ it's about us loving one another it's about us serving the Lord but all our focus needs to be on him and each other not on uh, ourselves. Because I found in all these years of serving God that when I do His bidding, He does mine. Yes. When I do His work, He takes care of mine. Make sure it gets done somehow, some way. When I bless others, He blesses me. More blessed is to give than to receive. Wise men still seek Him. Are you wise today? Do you have a gift to give God? Or are you holding it back? Do you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? And if you do, God bless you. But maybe you don't. People watching by internet. Maybe you don't know the Lord. At this special time of the year. That we celebrate the birth of Christ. Do you have hope beyond hope? Or are you hopeless? Without Christ, you're Christless. All you have is crises. But let's pray this prayer together. Prayer of salvation, rededication, recommitment. That God can hear it and answer it if you want to know the Lord as your Savior and start a path living for Christ in victory. Let's pray it together. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I, come to you I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, I ask you, Lord forgive all my sins. Forgive all my sins. Come, into my heart, come into my heart, into my life, into my life and, save my soul, and save my soul and make me whole. Amen. And put hope, and put hope beyond, hope beyond hope, in hope in my spirit. I thank you, Lord Jesus. You, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Give him a praise offering. Hallelujah. <laughs> Give him a praise. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. We got some great food in the other room.